The Andes or Andean Mountains Spanish, Cordillera de los Andes are the longest continental mountain range in the world, forming a continuous highland along the western edge of South America. This range is about 7,000 km miles long, about 200 to 700 km to 430 miles wide, widest between 18 degrees south and 20 degrees south latitude, and of an average height of about 4,000 m the Andes extend from north to south through seven South American countries, Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Chile and Argentina. Along their length, the Andes are split into several ranges, separated by intermediate depressions. The Andes are the location of several high plateaus, some of which host major cities such as Quito, Bogotá, Arequipa, Medellín, Sucre, Mérida and La Paz. The Altiplano Plateau is the world's second highest after the Tibetan Plateau. These ranges are in turn grouped into three major divisions based on climate, the Tropical Andes, the Dry Andes, and the Wet Andes. The Andes Mountains are the world's highest mountain range outside Asia. The highest mountain outside Asia, Argentina's Mount Aconcagua, rises to an elevation of about 6,961 meters feet above sea level. The peak of Chimborazo in the Ecuadorian Andes is farther from the Earth's center than any other location on the Earth's surface, due to the equatorial bulge resulting from the Earth's rotation. The world's highest volcanoes are in the Andes, including Ojos del Salado on the Chile-Argentina border, which rises to 6,893 meters feet. The Andes are also part of the American Cordillera, a chain of mountain ranges cordillera that consists of an almost continuous sequence of mountain ranges that form the western backbone of North America, Central America, South America and Antarctica. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The etymology of the word Andes has been debated. The majority consensus is that it derives from the Quechua word anti, which means east, as in Antisuyu Quechua for east region, one of the four regions of the Inca Empire. Topic: <laughs> Geography. The Andes can be divided into 3 sections. The Southern Andes south of Luyalaco in Argentina and Chile the Central Andes in Peru, and Bolivia, and the Northern Andes in Venezuela, Colombia and Ecuador. In the northern part of the Andes, the isolated Sierra Nevada de Santa Marta range is often considered to be part of the Andes. The term cordillera comes from the Spanish word cordel, meaning rope. The Andes Range is about 200 kilometers, 124 miles, wide throughout its length, except in the Bolivian Flexor where it is about 640 kilometers, 398 miles wide. The Leeward Antilles Islands Aruba, Bonaire, and Curaçao, which lie in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Venezuela, were thought to represent the submerged peaks of the extreme northern edge of the Andes Range, but ongoing geological studies indicate that such a simplification does not do justice to the complex tectonic boundary between the South American and Caribbean plates. <laughs> Geology The Andes are a Mesozoic tertiary orogenic belt of mountains along the Pacific Ring of Fire, a zone of volcanic activity that encompasses the Pacific Rim of the Americas as well as the Asia-Pacific region. The Andes are the result of tectonic plate processes, caused by the subduction of oceanic crust beneath the South American plate, it is the result of a convergent plate boundary between the Nazca plate and the South American plate The main cause of the rise of the Andes is the compression of the western rim of the South American plate due to the subduction of the Nazca plate and the Antarctic plate. To the east, the Andes range is bounded by several sedimentary basins, such as Orinoco, Amazon Basin, Madre de Dios and Gran Chaco, that separate the Andes from the ancient Cratons in eastern South America. In the south, the Andes share a long boundary with the former Patagonia terrain. To the west, the Andes end at the Pacific Ocean, although the Peru-Chile Trench can be considered their ultimate western limit. From a geographical approach, the Andes are considered to have their western boundaries marked by the appearance of coastal lowlands and a less rugged topography. The Andes Mountains also contain large quantities of iron ore located in many mountains within the range. The Andean origin has a series of bends or oroclines. 
The Bolivian Orocline is a seaward concave bending in the coast of South America and the Andes Mountains at about 18 degrees south at this point. The orientation of the Andes turns from northwest in Peru to south in Chile and Argentina. The Andean segment north and south of the Orocline have been rotated 15 degrees to 20 degrees counter clockwise and clockwise respectively. The Bolivian Orocline area overlaps with the area of maximum width of the Altiplano Plateau and according to Asax 1988, the Orocline is related to crustal shortening. The specific point at 18 degrees south where the coastline bends is known as the Arica Elbow. Further south lies the Maipo Orocline or Maipo Transition Zone located between 30 degrees south and 38 degrees south with a break in trend at 33 degrees south near the southern tip of the Andes lies the Patagonian Orocline. Topic. Orogeny The western rim of the South American plate has been the place of several pre-Andean orogenies since at least the late Proterozoic and early Paleozoic, when several terrains and microcontinents collided and amalgamated with the ancient cratons of eastern South America, by then the South American part of Gondwana. The formation of the modern Andes began with the events of the Triassic when Pangaea began the breakup that resulted in developing several rifts. The development continued through the Jurassic period. It was during the Cretaceous period that the Andes began to take their present form, by the uplifting, faulting and folding of sedimentary and metamorphic rocks of the ancient Cratons to the east. The rise of the Andes has not been constant, as different regions have had different degrees of tectonic stress, uplift, and erosion. Tectonic forces above the subduction zone along the entire west coast of South America where the Nazca Plate and a part of the Antarctic Plate are sliding beneath the South American Plate continue to produce an ongoing orogenic event resulting in minor to major earthquakes and volcanic eruptions to this day. In the extreme south, a major transform fault separates Tierra del Fuego from the small Scotia Plate. Across the 1,000 kilometers (620 miles) wide Drake Passage lie the mountains of the Antarctic Peninsula, south of the Scotia Plate, which appear to be a continuation of the Andes chain. The regions immediately east of the Andes experience a series of changes resulting from the Andean orogeny. Parts of the Sunsa's origin in Amazonian Craton disappeared from the surface of Earth, being overridden by the Andes. The Sierras de Córdoba, where the effects of the ancient Pampian orogeny can be observed, owe their modern uplift and relief to the Andean orogeny in the tertiary. Further south in southern Patagonia the onset of the Andean orogeny caused the Magallanes Basin to evolve from being an extensional back arc basin in the Mesozoic to being a compressional foreland basin in the Cenozoic. <laughs> Volcanism The Andes Range has many active volcanoes distributed in four volcanic zones separated by areas of inactivity. The Andean volcanism is a result of subduction of the Nazca Plate and Antarctic Plate underneath the South American Plate. The belt is subdivided into four main volcanic zones that are separated from each other by volcanic gaps. The volcanoes of the belt are diverse in terms of activity style, products and morphology. While some differences can be explained by which volcanic zone a volcano belongs to, there are significant differences inside volcanic zones and even between neighboring volcanoes. Despite being a type location for calc alkalic and subduction volcanism, the Andean volcanic belt has a large range of volcano tectonic settings, such as rift systems and extensional zones, transpressional faults, subduction of mid-ocean ridges and seamount chains apart from a large range of crustal thicknesses and magma ascent paths, and different amount of crustal assimilations. Ore deposits and evaporates The Andes Mountains host large ore and salt deposits and some of their eastern fold and thrust belt acts as traps for commercially exploitable amounts of hydrocarbons. In the forelands of the Atacama Desert some of the largest porphyry copper mineralizations occurs making Chile and Peru the first and second largest exporters of copper in the world. Porphyry copper in the western slopes of the Andes has been generated by hydrothermal fluids mostly water during the cooling of plutons or volcanic systems. The porphyry mineralization further benefited from the dry climate that let them largely out of the disturbing actions of meteoric water. The dry climate in the central western Andes has also led to the creation of extensive saltpeter deposits which were extensively mined until the invention of synthetic nitrates. 
Yet another result of the dry climate are the salars of Atacama and Uyuni, the first one being the largest source of lithium today and the second the world's largest reserve of the element. Early Mesozoic and Neogene Plutonism in Bolivia's Cordillera Central created the Bolivian tin belt as well as the famous, now depleted, deposits of Cerro Rico de Potosi. Topic: <laughs> Climate and hydrology. The climate in the Andes varies greatly depending on latitude, altitude, and proximity to the sea. Temperature, atmospheric pressure, and humidity decrease in higher elevations. The southern section is rainy and cool, the central section is dry. The northern Andes are typically rainy and warm, with an average temperature of 18 degrees Celsius 64 degrees Fahrenheit in Colombia. The climate is known to change drastically in rather short distances. Rainforests exist just miles away from the snow-covered peak Cotopaxi. The mountains have a large effect on the temperatures of nearby areas. The snow line depends on the location. It is at between 4,500 and 4,800 meters (14,800 and 15,700 feet) in the tropical Ecuadorian, Colombian, Venezuelan, and northern Peruvian Andes, rising to 4,800 to 5,200 meters (15,700 to 17,100 feet) in the drier mountains of southern Peru, south to northern Chile, south to about 30 degrees south, then descending to 4,500 meters (14,760 feet). Feet on Aconcagua at 32 degrees south, 2,000 meters (6,600 feet) at 40 degrees south, 500 meters (1,640 feet) at 50 degrees south, and only 300 meters (980 feet) in Tierra del Fuego at 55 degrees south. From 50 degrees south, several of the larger glaciers descend to sea level. The Andes of Chile and Argentina can be divided in two climatic and glaciological zones: the dry Andes and the wet Andes. Since the dry Andes extend from the latitudes of Atacama Desert to the area of Mall River, precipitation is more sporadic and there are strong temperature oscillations. The line of equilibrium may shift drastically over short periods of time, leaving a whole glacier in the ablation area or in the accumulation area. In the high Andes of central Chile and Mendoza province, rock glaciers are larger and more common than glaciers, this is due to the high exposure to solar radiation, though precipitation increases with the height, there are semi-arid conditions in the nearly 7,000 meters towering highest mountains of the Andes. This dry steppe climate is considered to be typical of the subtropical position at 32 to 34 degrees south the valley bottoms have no woods, just dwarf scrub. The largest glaciers, as e.g. the Plomo Glacier and the Horquans Glaciers, do not even reach 10 km in length and have an only insignificant ice thickness. At glacial times, however, c. 20,000 years ago, the glaciers were over 10 times longer. On the east side of this section of the Mendozina Andes, they flowed down to 2,060 m and on the west side to c. 1,220 m ASL. The massifs of Cerro Aconcagua (6961 meters), Cerro Tupungato (6550 meters), and Nevado Juncal (6110 meters) are tens of kilometers away from each other and were connected by a joint ice stream network. The Andes dendritic glacier arms, i.e. components of valley glaciers, were up to 112.5 kilometers long, over 1020, i.e. 1250 meters thick and overspanned a vertical distance of 5150 altitude meters. The climatic glacier snowline Ella was lowered from currently 4600 meters to 3200 meters at glacial times. Topic: Flora The Andean region cuts across several natural and floristic regions due to its extension from Caribbean Venezuela to cold, windy and wet Cape Horn passing through the hyperarid Atacama Desert. Rainforests and tropical dry forests used to encircle much of the northern Andes but are now greatly diminished, especially in the Chaco and inter-Andean valleys of Colombia. Opposite of the humid Andean slopes are the relatively dry Andean slopes in most of western Peru, Chile and Argentina. Along with several interandean valles, they are typically dominated by deciduous woodland, shrub and xeric vegetation, reaching the extreme in the slopes near the virtually lifeless Atacama Desert. About 30,000 species of vascular plants live in the Andes, with roughly half being endemic to the region, surpassing the diversity of any other hotspot. 
The small tree Cinchona pubescens, a source of quinine which is used to treat malaria, is found widely in the Andes as far south as Bolivia. Other important crops that originated from the Andes are tobacco and potatoes. The high altitude polylepis forests and woodlands are found in the Andean areas of Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. These trees, by locals referred to as Quenua, Yagual, and other names, can be found at altitudes of 4,500 meters (14,760 feet) above sea level. It remains unclear if the patchy distribution of these forests and woodlands is natural or the result of clearing, which began during the Incan period. Regardless, in modern times the clearance has accelerated, and the trees are now considered to be highly endangered, with some believing that as little as 10% of the original woodland remains. <laughs> fauna The Andes are rich in fauna, with almost 1,000 species, of which roughly two thirds are endemic to the region. The Andes are the most important region in the world for amphibians. The diversity of animals in the Andes is high, with almost 600 species of mammals 13% endemic, more than 1,700 species of birds about one-third endemic, more than 600 species of reptile about 45% endemic, and almost 400 species of fish about one-third endemic. The vicuña and guanaco can be found living in the Altiplano, while the closely related domesticated llama and alpaca are widely kept by locals as pack animals and for their meat and wool. The crepuscular active during dawn and dusk chinchillas, two threatened members of the rodent order, inhabit the Andes alpine regions. The Andean condor, the largest bird of its kind in the western hemisphere, occurs throughout much of the Andes but generally in very low densities. Other animals found in the relatively open habitats of the high Andes include the humal, cougar, foxes in the genus Pseudolopex, and, for birds, certain species of tinamous notably members of the genus Nothoprocta, Andean goose, giant coot, flamingos mainly associated with hypersaline lakes, lesser rhea, Andean flicker, diadem sandpiper plover, miners, sierra finches and dica finches. Lake Titicaca hosts several endemics, among them the highly endangered Titicaca flightless grebe and Titicaca water frog. A few species of hummingbirds, notably some hill stars, can be seen at altitudes above 4,000 meters (13,100 feet), but far higher diversities can be found at lower altitudes, especially in the humid Andean forests. Cloud forests, growing on slopes in Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, and far northwestern Argentina. These forest types, which includes the Yungas and parts of the Chaco, are very rich in flora and fauna, although few large mammals exist, exceptions being the threatened mountain tapir, spectacled bear, and yellow tailed woolly monkey. Birds of humid Andean forests include mountain toucans, quetzals, and the Andean cock of the rock, while mixed species flocks dominated by tanagers and fernarids commonly are seen, in contrast to several vocal but typically cryptic species of wrens, tapaculos, and antpitas, a number of species such as the royal Clodes and white browed tit spinetail are associated with polylepis, and consequently also threatened. <laughs> Human activity The Andes Mountains form a north south axis of cultural influences. A long series of cultural development culminated in the expansion of the Inca civilization and Inca Empire in the central Andes during the 15th century. The Incas formed this civilization through imperialistic militarism as well as careful and meticulous governmental management. The government sponsored the construction of aqueducts and roads in addition to pre-existing installations. Some of these constructions are still in existence today. Devastated by European diseases to which they had no immunity and civil wars, in 1532 the Incas were defeated by an alliance composed of tens of thousands of allies from nations they had subjugated e.g. Huancas, Chachapoyas, Cañaras and a small army of 180 Spaniards led by Francisco Pizarro. One of the few Inca sites the Spanish never found in their conquest was Machu Picchu, which lay hidden on a peak on the eastern edge of the Andes where they descend to the Amazon. The main surviving languages of the Andean peoples are those of the Quechua and Aymara language families. Woodbine Parish and Joseph Barclay Pentland surveyed a large part of the Bolivian Andes from 1826 to 1827. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Cities. In modern times, the largest cities in the Andes are Bogotá, Colombia, with a population of about 8 million, Santiago, Chile, and Medellín, Colombia. 
Lima is a coastal city adjacent to the Andes and is the largest city of all Andean countries. It is the seat of the Andean Community of Nations. La Paz, Bolivia's seat of government, is the highest capital city in the world, at an elevation of approximately 3,650 meters (11,975 feet). Parts of the La Paz conurbation, including the city of El Alto, extend up to 4,200 meters (13,780 feet). Other cities in or near the Andes include Arequipa, Cusco, Huancayo, Cajamarca, Juliaca, Huanuco, Juárez, and Puno in Peru, Quito, Cuenca, Ambato, Loja, Riobamba, and Ibarra in Ecuador, Cochabamba, Oruro, Sucre, and Tarija in Bolivia, Mendoza, Tucumán, Salta, and San Juan in Argentina, Calama and Rancagua in Chile, Cali, Cucuta, Bucaramanga, Ibagué, Pereira, Pasto, Palmira, Popayán, Tunja, Villavicencio, and Manizales in Colombia, and Barquisimeto, San Cristobal, Mérida, and Valera in Venezuela. The cities of Caracas, Valencia, and Maracay are in the Venezuelan coastal range, which is a debatable extension of the Andes at the northern extreme of South America. Transportation Cities and large towns are connected with asphalt paved roads, while smaller towns are often connected by dirt roads, which may require a four-wheel drive vehicle. The rough terrain has historically put the costs of building highways and railroads that cross the Andes out of reach of most neighboring countries, even with modern civil engineering practices. For example, the main crossover of the Andes between Argentina and Chile is still accomplished through the Paso Internacional Los Libertadores. Only recently the ends of some highways that came rather close to one another from the east and the west have been connected. Much of the transportation of passengers is done via aircraft. However, there is one railroad that connects Chile with Argentina via the Andes, and there are others that make the same connection via southern Bolivia. See railroad maps of that region. There are multiple highways in Bolivia that cross the Andes. Some of these were built during a period of war between Bolivia and Paraguay, in order to transport Bolivian troops and their supplies to the war front in the lowlands of southeastern Bolivia and western Paraguay. For decades, Chile claimed ownership of land on the eastern side of the Andes. However, these claims were given up in about 1870 during the War of the Pacific between Chile, the allied Bolivia and Peru, in a diplomatic deal to keep Argentina out of the war. The Chilean army and Chilean navy defeated the combined forces of Bolivia and Peru, and Chile took over Bolivia's only province on the Pacific coast, some land from Peru that was returned to Peru decades later. Bolivia has been a completely landlocked country ever since. It mostly uses seaports in eastern Argentina and Uruguay for international trade because its diplomatic relations with Chile have been suspended since 1978. Because of the tortuous terrain in places, villages and towns in the mountains—to which travel via motorized vehicles is of little use—are still located in the high Andes of Argentina, Bolivia, Peru, and Ecuador. Locally, the relatives of the camel, the llama, and the alpaca continue to carry out important uses as pack animals, but this use has generally diminished in modern times. Donkeys, mules, and horses are also useful. Agriculture The ancient peoples of the Andes such as the Incas have practiced irrigation techniques for over 6,000 years. Because of the mountain slopes, terracing has been a common practice. Terracing, however, was only extensively employed after Incan imperial expansions to fuel their expanding realm. The potato holds a very important role as an internally consumed staple crop. Maize was also an important crop for these people, and was used for the production of chicha, important to Andean native people. Currently, tobacco, cotton and coffee are the main export crops. Coca, despite eradication programs in some countries, remains an important crop for legal local use in a mildly stimulating herbal tea, and, both controversially and illegally, for the production of cocaine. Irrigation. <inaudible> 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 In unirrigated land, pasture is the most common type of land use. In the rainy season summer, part of the rangeland is used for cropping mainly potatoes, barley, broad beans and wheat. Irrigation is helpful in advancing the sowing data of the summer crops which guarantees an early yield in the period of food shortage. 
Also, by early sowing, maize can be cultivated higher up in the mountains till 3,800 meters. In addition it makes cropping in the dry season winter possible and allows the cultivation of frost-resistant vegetable crops like onion and carrot. Topic. Mining The Andes rose to fame for their mineral wealth during the Spanish conquest of South America. Although Andean Amerindian peoples crafted ceremonial jewelry of gold and other metals, the mineralizations of the Andes were first mined in large scale after the Spanish arrival. Potosi in present-day Bolivia and Cerro de Pasco in Peru were one of the principal mines of the Spanish Empire in the New World. Rio de la Plata and Argentina derive their names from the silver of Potosi. Currently, mining in the Andes of Chile and Peru places these countries as the first and third major producers of copper in the world. Peru also contains the fourth largest gold mine in the world, the Yanacocha. The Bolivian Andes produce principally tin although historically silver mining had a huge impact on the economy of 17th century Europe. There is a long history of mining in the Andes, from the Spanish silver mines in Potosi in the 16th century to the vast current porphyry copper deposits of Chuquicamata and Escondida in Chile and Taquepala in Peru. Other metals including iron, gold and tin in addition to non-metallic resources are important. Peaks This list contains some of the major peaks in the Andes mountain range. The highest peak is Aconcagua of Argentina. See below. Topic: Argentina. Aconcagua, 6961 meters, 22838 feet. Cerro Bonet, 6759 meters, 22175 feet. Galan, 5,912 meters, 19,396 feet. Mercedario, 6,720 meters, 22,047 feet. Pisces, 6,795 meters, 22,293 feet. Topic: Border between Argentina and Chile. Cerro Bayo, 5,401 meters, 17,720 feet. Cerro Fitzroy, 3,375 meters, 11,073 feet, or 3,405 meters. Patagonia, also known as Cerro Chalton. Cerro Escorial, 5,447 meters, 17,871 feet. Cordon del Azufre, 5,463 meters, 17,923 feet. Falso Azufre, 5,890 meters, 19,324 feet. Incahuasi, 6,620 meters, 21,719 feet. Listeria, 5,697 meters, 18,691 feet. Luyalaco, 6,739 meters, 22,110 feet. Maipo, 5,264 meters, 17,270 feet. Marmolejo, 6,110 meters, 20,046 feet. Ojos del Salado, 6,893 meters, 22,615 feet. Olca, 5,407 meters, 17,740 feet. Sierra Nevada de Lagunas Bravas, 6,127 meters, 20,102 feet. Socampa, 6,051 meters, 19,852 feet. Nevado Trace Cruces, 6,749 meters, 22,142 feet. South Summit, three region. Tronador, 3,491 meters, 11,453 feet. Tupungato, 6,570 meters, 21,555 feet. Nacimiento, 6,492 meters, 21,299 feet. Topic: Bolivia. Janku Uma, 6,427 meters, 21,086 feet. 
Kabaraya, 5,860 meters (19,226 feet). Chakaltaya, 5,422 meters (17,789 feet). Wayna Potosi, 6,088 meters, 19,974 feet. Ilampu, 6,368 meters, 20,892 feet. Ilimani, 6,438 meters, 21,122 feet. Laram Kuawa, 5,520 meters, 18,110 feet. Macizo de Pacuni, 5,400 meters, 17,720 feet. Novato Anayaj C, 5,750 meters, 18,865 feet. Novato Sahama, 6,542 meters, 21,463 feet. Patila Pada, 5,300 meters, 17,390 feet. Tata Sabaya, 5,430 meters, 17,815 feet. Topic: Border between Bolivia and Chile. Acatango, 6,052 meters, 19,856 feet. Michincha, 5,305 meters, 17,405 feet. Iru Fudung, 5,163 meters, 16,939 feet. Likankabur, 5,920 meters, 19,423 feet. Olka, 5,407 meters, 17,740 feet. Paranacoda, 6,348 meters, 20,827 feet. Paruma, 5,420 meters, 17,782 feet. Pomerape, 6,282 meters, 20,610 feet. Topic: Chile. Monte San Valentin, 4,058 meters, 13,314 feet. Cerro Pain Grande, 2,884 meters, 9,462 feet. Cerro Maca, C, 2,300 meters, 7,546 feet. Monte Darwin, C, 2,500 meters, 8,202 feet. Vulcan Hudson, C, 1,900 meters, 6,234 feet. Cerro Castillo Dinavor, C. 1,100 meters, 3,609 feet. Mount Tarn, C. 0.825 meters, 2,707 feet. Polaris, C. 5,993 meters, 19,662 feet. Akamarachi, C. 6,046 meters, 19,836 feet. Topic: Colombia. Nevado del Hula, 5,365 meters, 17,602 feet. Nevado del Ruiz, 5,321 meters, 17,457 feet. Nevado del Tolima, 5,205 meters, 17,077 feet. Pico Pan de Azúcar, 5,200 meters, 17,060 feet. Ritacuba Negra, 5,320 meters, 17,454 feet. Nevado del Cumbal, 4,764 meters, 15,630 feet. Cerro Negro de Mayasker, 4,445 meters, 14,583 feet. Ritacuba Blanco, 5,410 meters, 17,749 feet. Nevado del Quindío, 5,215 meters, 17,110 feet. Purachi, 4,655 meters, 15,272 feet. Santa Isabel, 4,955 meters, 16,257 feet. Doña Juana, 4,150 meters, 13,615 feet. Galeras, 4,276 meters, 14,029 feet. Azufral, 4,070 meters, 13,353 feet. Topic: 
Ecuador Antisana, 5,752 meters, 18,871 feet. Kayamba, 5,790 meters, 18,996 feet. Chimborazo, 6,268 meters, 20,564 feet. Corazon, 4,790 meters, 15,715 feet. Cotopaxi, 5,897 meters, 19,347 feet. El Altar, 5,320 meters, 17,454 feet. Ilaniza, 5,248 meters, 17,218 feet. Pachincha, 4,784 meters, 15,696 feet. Quilotoa, 3,914 meters, 12,841 feet. Reventador, 3,562 meters, 11,686 feet. Sangay, 5,230 meters, 17,159 feet. Tungurawa, 5,023 meters, 16,480 feet. Topic: Peru. Alpameo, 5,947 meters, 19,511 feet. Artisanraju, 6,025 meters, 19,767 feet. Carnicero, 5,960 meters, 19,554 feet. Chump, 6,106 meters, 20,033 feet. Corapuna, 6,377 meters, 20,922 feet. El Misti, 5,822 meters, 19,101 feet. El Toro, 5,830 meters, 19,127 feet. Huandoy, 6,395 meters, 20,981 feet. Wascaran, 6,768 meters, 22,205 feet. Jerishanka, 6,094 meters, 19,993 feet. Pumasillo, 5,991 meters, 19,656 feet. Risac, 6,040 meters, 19,816 feet. Rondoy, 5,870 meters, 19,259 feet. Sarapo, 6,127 meters, 20,102 feet. Salcante, 6,271 meters, 20,574 feet. Siria Norte, 5,860 meters, 19,226 feet. Ciula Grande, 6,344 meters, 20,814 feet. Huitepalana, 5,557 meters, 18,232 feet. Yarapaja, 6,635 meters, 21,768 feet. Yarapaja Chico, 6,089 meters, 19,977 feet. Topic. Venezuela Pico Bolivar 5007 meters 16427 feet Pico Humboldt 4940 meters 16207 feet Pico Bonpland 4880 meters 16010 feet Pico La Concha 4920 meters 16142 feet Pico Piedras Blancas, 4,740 meters, 15,551 feet. Pico El Aguila, 4,180 meters, 13,714 feet. Pico El Toro, 4,729 meters, 15,515 feet. Pico El Leon, 4,740 meters, 15,551 feet. Pico Macunyuk 4609 meters 15121 feet Topic See also Andean Geology a scientific journal Andesite line Apu God Cordillera Mountains in the Philippines 
List of longest mountain chains on Earth Mountain passes of the Andes Rocky Mountains Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Bibliography Bigger, John 2005. The Andes, A Guide for Climbers 3 ed., Scotland, Andes Publishing. ISBN 0-9536087-2-7. Dirac, ed. 2001. Wild Winds, Adventures in the Highest Andes. Cordy, DPP. ISBN 978-1884980817. External links University of Arizona, Andes Geology BluePlanetBiomes.org, Climate and Animal Life of the Andes Discover-Peru.org, Regions and Microclimates in the Andes Peaklist.org, Complete List of Mountains in South America with an Elevation at, Above 1,500 meters 4,920 feet